A trans woman being, oh. in, a, be, being in a female pr female prison. Yeah, that's fine. They, are, they, are they have that in orange just the new black, don't they? Yeah, they are women. They would they would the amount of abuse and violence that they would face in a in a men's only yeah. prison. That is, it, it, it's it's basically just suggesting like you are not actually a woman, you are a man. They are women. Yeah. They are more they're they are more women than I am. Yeah. Hi, we're at Sussex University. What are your pronouns? Uh, she, her. What age should someone allowed be allowed to uh, socially transition? Was it something I said? What are your pronouns? Uh, she, they. I don't actually have a clue. What does she, they mean? I don't know, to be honest. I'm just not entirely comfortable with the she, her pronouns, but also I don't feel like asking people to call me they, them, so it's just easier. What age should someone be allowed to socially transition? Um, 18? Well, socially. Any age they want. So, for example? eight-year-old boy starts running around in girls' clothes, identifying as female, maybe even asked to be called Jane, for example. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? I think so, yeah. And what age should someone be allowed to start transitioning medically? What age should they be allowed to get surgery? I think that should be between them and their doctor, for the most part, because everyone has a different life situation, everyone matures at a different rate. But what age? Is it, would an eight-year-old be allowed to do that with a... Should an eight-year-old or, or ten or even eleven or twelve-year-old be allowed to do that with a doctor? Uh, hormonally speaking, eight-year-old boys and girls are essentially the same. So, at that age, I don't think... I think they can put in hormone blockers to reduce the rate of puberty at that age. I don't know too much about it. No, that's fine. So I'm learning as I go. You mentioned puberty blockers, so stopping the developmental path to allow them to decide. So an eight-year-old could go on puberty blockers, for example, to then go on to decide later. Yeah. Would you be okay with that? I would, yeah. What about... Um, trans women so biological men is that correct trans women being in female safe spaces yeah i'm perfectly comfortable with that it seems to be a large part of the feminist movement that fought very hard for years for whatever they thought was important and of course most decent people would support that so how do you feel about for example taking the extreme i.e socially in bathrooms to trans women in prisons in female prisons for example should they be allowed in female prisons i think so yeah why because they're women what, what, what about the feminist argument that say that that's not true? Well, and that that's not intersectional feminism. Intersectional feminism is accepting everyone, male, female, whoever, we are all equal. Okay, fantastic. And you said your pronouns are she, they? Yes. Can you define what a woman is? I'm learning as I go with the pronouns, sorry. A person that identifies as a woman, I suppose. So when you say identifies, do you mean feels? I, so for example, if I, you can clearly see I'm a male. Yeah. hope so anyway. If I wake up tomorrow morning and want to identify as a woman, can I do that? Yes. And, and that would make me a woman? Yeah. <laughs> what are your pronouns? She, her. She, her. She, they. Really? Yeah. What does she, they mean? Um, it means that I can go in between the gender spectrum. I usually use she, her pronouns, but um, I don't really care for certain, like, stereotypes within gender so I can fluctuate between more masculine and feminine aspects of my personality. Okay, uh, understood. And we're learning a lot more about this. Do I present as a male? Would that be fair to say? Yeah. Right? And that's not judgmental. I would be perceived as a male. Yeah. What defines a woman? By, by, based on what you've just said, we're curious to know, what defines a woman? I think that, um, well, women, woman is a gender, the female is the sex. I think a woman is an individual um, that presents themselves as a very strong and proud person, someone that is very independent. One, one, one second. Hiya. Would you like to join the interview? <laughs> what, me or it? Do you have any thoughts on men being in public bathrooms or sports? Should that be allowed? What do you mean about, like, men shouldn't be allowed in female bathrooms? Yeah, the, the, feminist, the feminist movement that says they, they fought for what they fought for. They then pronouns being in like a girl's toilet or something. Like and, and any any anyone. So a trans woman is yeah. a biological male. Is that correct? Um, this, yeah, this is male, but they are a woman. They are they are a woman, a trans person. I mean, this debate is like you never know where to draw the line. You never know how far it is. Like, it's, if someone's like transitioning from male to female, but they make like no effort to transition. Like they they've got a beard. They don't shave their beard. They don't like. They still wear boys' clothes or something. If they wear, if they made no effort to transition, but they just say they're a female, then it's like, what, what do you think about that? It's like, 
I think people are sometimes a little bit too open, and then it's just. I don't oh. think that is necessarily anyone's like business for how someone. Percentage. I think it is, it is complicated. That's what yeah, I'm saying because because it, it's so it, hard to know where to draw the line and like there's, where's like. There's more cisgender straight males that cause conflict in the world than transgender yeah. people. Like I'm sorry, they don't. They are the most respectful people I've ever met in my entire life and I have such the utmost respect and care for all my friends who are trans and they should be able to fit in this world that they that they feel respected in and they that's just good that's just good manners though I'm talking about I'm, that's just good manners isn't it like you and I were brought up with good manners hopefully um, I grew up in a very conservative like I grew up in Southeast Asia and it's extremely conservative so these kinds of topics are not spoken about or cared about it's illegal to be gay you get more time in prison for having gay sex than you would for for hom homicide. Which country is that? Myanmar. So you, you, you've seen that side of it in Asia? Yeah. Okay, so in, in terms of that last question, so wi so trans women, so biological men in women's spaces and prisons, for example, should that be allowed or should that not be allowed? Should they be in a, a male prison rather than a woman's prison? A trans woman should never be put in a male yeah, prison. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's really Absolutely dangerous for them. Not. They are what, you, and they were are you asking about trans women or? Tra trans women being, oh. in a, be, being in a female, pr female prison. Yeah, that's they fine. Are, they, are they have that in Orange is the New Black, don't they? Yeah, they are women. They would, they would, the amount of abuse and violence that they would face in a, in a men's only yeah. prison, that is, it, it, it's, it's, it's basically just suggesting like, you are not actually a woman, you are a man. They are women. Yeah. They are more, they're they are more women than I am. They're still women, because yeah. if you're just... They're more women than you are? Yeah, 100%. What, what are you, okay. Like, if you cool. put them in a male prison, it's just like you're not just it's because they're biologically wait what was it so what, transitioning to a woman yeah trans woman if so they're biological biologically male. male and you put them in a woman's prison you're not defending them it's not just like putting them in that box you're putting every single transitioning person into that box if that makes sense we need to get our train no worries you've been most generous thank you so much guys thank you. what are your pronouns they them and what age should someone be allowed to start transitioning socially uh socially I guess whatever age they feel is acceptable for themselves. So for example, we've, we've heard that an awful lot. So we're trying to understand at what age for parents as well, guidance, four-year-old boy starts running around in girls' clothes or mm. starts identifying as female, is that okay? I mean... Or an eight-year-old, for example. I guess if they, that's how they feel comfortable in their own skin, in their own body. Then that would be fine. Yeah. And what about age of uh, consent with surgery? At what age should they be allowed to transition medically, surgically? Um, that would depend on the individual as well as, obviously, if the family is accepting and welcoming of it themselves. So if, if the family was welcoming of it at, let's say, eight years old for the boy that I just gave an example of, and the boy at eight said that he wanted to do it, would you be okay with that? Well, at the age of eight, um, there's a lot or of things coming into mind with that as well. Like, you can get puberty blockers, like hormone blockers, if they obviously feel extremely comf uncomfortable going for that themselves as well as... So, um... Chest binders for girls, mm. boys can tuck as well. So are you okay, would you say it was okay socially for that to be in front of children, those options? If, it's, if you're saying it's about, a lot of people say it's the child's consent, but a child can't consent to an awful lot, tattoos, alcohol, drugs, um, and a lot of those things potentially they should never consent to. But if an eight or a 10 year old or an 11 year old says, I feel this way and I want to do it, do you think the autonomy lies with the parent or should it be on the child to decide with surgery? Um, with both, because obviously the child's obviously got to be open to those options, aware of those options, as well as the parent. There should be both matters of surgical, say if something were to happen surgically, they've got to be aware of it, as well as the parents. I feel like it's a option for both of them. Well, almost than... consultation with the child? Yeah. So in regards to men who are trans women, should they be allowed in women prisons? Yes, I see no issue in it, as long as obviously it's a safe space for all. And what about if they're, because there's different types of crimes you can commit, what if they're sex offenders? Should they be allowed in women's prisons? But they're trans women. Um, I feel like, I'm not quite sure about that one, because obviously I'm... It's a difficult one. Yeah, it's a very difficult one. Um, I'd have to, because I have no say in, I can't really say anything towards that, because I've got no experience in that myself. If you can't say about prison, which is, yeah. as you say, you're... you're it's a difficult one. What about safe spaces for women? Um, when it comes to like bathrooms and everything, I'm completely fine with it. Um, say if something were to happen in the bathroom, I feel like it would happen regardless of like the gender. 
So like neutral bathrooms, I'm completely fine and everything with it. It's about I feel comfortable with my body as well because I'm non-binary myself. But um, as long as it's a safe space for everyone, I see no issue in it. So it would, so from your perspective, it would be if there was a crime committed, if there was a problem, because obviously women have fought very hard for years yeah. to essentially be not segregated away from men, but have safe spaces away from yeah. men, and, and justifiably so as well. Yeah. So it would be reactive. It would be after the event. Would it? If if you know that heaven forbid that happened, they were attacked. You'd say reactively. You need to because it could happen anyway with with straight people. Is that right? Um. So like, we want to we want to keep women safe, don't we? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, can you give me an example, is that right? Yeah, sure. So a trans um, woman walks into a, male, um, into a female bathroom and there's females in there and the female makes a complaint about it or goes to the press about it. We're seeing more and more of this happen. Who's in the right and who's in the wrong? There isn't necessarily a right or the wrong in the situation. It could, could be from both the trans woman could not feel inclusive, like included enough in that bathroom from the hostility, obviously, of the women that could be say they didn't like sharing the space. I feel like that should mean there's more toilets available in the sense of gender neutral toilets or just more private toilets in, if any sense, if it makes a person comfortable. So a third option? A third option, yeah. Okay, great. You said you're non-binary. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm a bit confused on the subject myself. So can you define what a woman is? Um, I feel like there is no definition like specific definition for women. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. That's right, no worries at all. You've been amazing. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Sorry. What are your pronouns? Uh, she, her. What age should it be allowed for someone to socially transition? I think it's very specific and up to them and their choice. I don't think that there should be a specific set age. I think if you feel really comfortable in yourself and like what you really feel like you want to be, that's all that really matters. I don't think anyone should have to stick to a norm if they don't feel like they fit that. So would you be okay, for example, with an eight-year-old boy running around in a dress, trying to identify as a woman, expressing these, uh, call me Jane, for example, or Sarah, for example, an eight-year-old boy, would that be okay? If that, make, if that's what makes them truly happy, I think it's okay, yeah. I, I think everyone should I, be less judgmental and just like accept people and children for who they are because sure. the world has enough hate and it's just nice to just spread positivity and happiness I think. Okay fine I use the example of an eight-year-old what about a five-year-old because obviously kids are being exposed to these ideas about gender fluidity etc or even an 11 year old is it still the same answer? I think yeah and also I don't really think it's my place to say what they should or should be doing with their life and I think that's up to the family's decision and I'm not going to judge them for what they're doing and who they want to be. So obviously at the lighter end of the conversation it's about use of pronouns and transitioning. What about surgery? Where this leads? What about medical transitioning? Should there be an age limit on that? Or what age do you think it's acceptable? I'm not really sure. <laughs> What's your guess? What's your honest opinion? I don't know. Can a, can a 10 year old get a tattoo? Well actually that's illegal. So. so with medical transitioning, do you think there should be, what age is appropriate? Um, your, or your honest opinion? I don't, I haven't really thought about it. Really. What about women's safe spaces? Because we know the feminist movement says that they don't want trans women in safe spaces. So bathrooms, public bathrooms, should trans women be allowed in those spaces? I think that they should be allowed to do that. If they really feel like they identify as a woman, I think they should be given the right opportunity to go through with everything that a woman should go through every day. Last question, what about prisons? So trans women, biological male, do they belong in a female? By your, what you're saying, they should go into a female prison. What are your thoughts on that? I think if they fully identify as a woman, then I, I think that that's okay because if they feel very uncomfortable going into a male prison, I don't think it's right for them to have to do that. Um, so if, I identify, if I identify as a female and I'm in that position of, of, of custody, um, should I be allowed to go into a women's prison? If it's like, it, it, it should be down to like specifics. If they've done it for a particular reason, if they have a past history of like, uh, sexual assault on women or so other it would be case by case basis yeah. if they are a sex offender for example then would you say no they go into a male prison it depends I, I just really think you have to know a lot about the person before you, you do anything I can't really just say 
like a broad statement about uh, transgender people in prisons. I feel like it needs to be specified on their past history and if they're doing it for a reason or if they actually identify as a woman and feel like they should be in a woman's prison. So, the, the, so in terms of what defines a woman then, can you define what a woman is based on what you're saying? Women are amazing, they're powerful, Yay, women. They're, they're great leaders, they're just, I feel like women just are really important in the world, they bring empathy and kindness and they're just great. Yeah. They really do, can I be a woman? If you wanted to, yes. How do I do that? It's up to you, I can't, I can't make you do anything that, you know. If, it, if, if, I, feel, if, I, if I feel it, does that make me a woman? I identify as a female. You can tell I'm not a female, I hope. I know. <laughs> you sure? You didn't I sound... I feel like everyone should have the, the space to just figure out themselves, and I'm not here to judge how that happens. And, yeah. What are your pronouns? Uh, he, him. He, him. Yeah. What age, what age should someone be allowed to socially transition? I think probably when the socially, I mean, it depends like what age you would allow a student to like choose their own nickname, I guess, maybe. So would you be okay with a four-year-old male boy running around in women's clothes, for example, or, or an eight-year-old boy, for example, in a dress, for example? I would say so, like... They're just clothes. So you'd be okay with that? Yes, I would. And what about men in female prisons? I haven't really... Uh, so men identifying as women and the argument that trans men are women and they are in female prisons. Is that right or wrong? Uh, I'm not really sure. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. I think it depends, like, I think, well, considering most criminals are, like, petty criminals, I don't think it's that big of an issue. If someone is, like, a dangerous individual, they're probably going to be kept separately anyway. So the law, the, the government and the law would, would keep them separate anyway? Yeah. Do you think that's common sense? Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, they're a sex offender, for example, and they identify as a woman, but they're biological male. They, should they be kept separately to women? I would think if I mean yeah I'd, I think sex offenders like different but for anyone else I don't think it's that big of an issue sure so it's specific to that and what last question what about men and women's sports should men be allowed to compete in women's sports I think I've heard evidence that like usually the differences aren't that big so I'd say they should be allowed to. If they identify as a female, they should be allowed to compete in women's sports. Yeah. All right, guys, so Sussex University, Britain's wokest university, or should we start calling it what it actually is, which is a Marxist state with links between the students, their spotters, and the student union, and Mickey Mouse, childish Antifa in Brighton. As soon as anyone comes on to challenge the opinion, of these extremists they sent up a flare and their job as always is to try and intimidate their job is to try and disrupt and where possible destroy and when they can't destroy they just stand there with their music and their speakers they get their phones out trying to speak to other people mob based behavior they mask up they try and hide their identities etc so sussex university once potentially britain's most woke university actually a marxist state actively promoting far left extremism in the uk and indoctrinating and grooming anyone they can get their hands on backed up by the so-called antifa the militia of the far left only trouble is is that they're not in any way threatening or intimidating or a problem in any way what in any way what? in any way whatsoever are you mate <laughs> berry boy he rocked up started chucking berries at us like that's going to intimidate us do i have your consent for the interview you do
Fantastic. Do I have your consent for the interview? Yeah. Fantastic. Do I have your consent for the interview? Yes, you do. Do I have your consent for the interview? Yes, you do. Yes, absolutely. Do I have your consent for the interview? Yes. Hi, we're at Sussex University. Do I have your consent for the interview? You do. Fantastic.